Hey everyone! All right, so today is the big day. We are going on our very first Disney cruise. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna do a last minute stroll on the beach while mm -hmm. we are waiting for the time to run out for yes. us to head out to the Port of Call, I guess is what it's called, right? Yeah, and I think it's pretty close here. I think you said last night it was only like 20 minutes away. Yeah, or so that was last night. So here's hoping we don't meet traffic this morning. Yeah, so last night, if you if you missed the last video, we are here at the Hotel Cor Del Coronado mm -hmm. on Coronado Island. It was really nice. Very, very nice. Actually, it's better than I expected it was. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen pictures in the past. It is under construction, so yeah. just know that. But uh, we had a great time. Yeah, and now it's time to cruise. That's right. Are you ready for the cruise? Yep. Yep. Okay, pack up your Nintendo and we can get going. Yeah. So we have all of our luggage packed and ready. Um, and I did go ahead, because some of you have let us know, like with the situation with the checked bags, that we may not get them into our uh, stateroom like right away. Sometimes it can be a while. So I did go ahead and I packed an extra outfit for Caleb and I, um, along with some like toiletries and stuff in our, in my carry-on bag. And so the stuff we don't need right away is in the check bags. All right, so dad went back to the room real quick to do a quick office call. So little man and I grabbed some breakfast here at the market. What'd you get? Uh, cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll? That looks yummy, it looks enormous. <laughs> it looks big. It does look big. Hey so, daddy, what? and you would like put like a lot of that stuff in like, like a lot of stuff in and like in that like and like cupcakes oh, it'll yeah. make it too big oh yeah that's it'll true it'll take a lot of work for everybody to eat it <laughs> oh, every day it'll take months and months and months in <laughs> years too but i grabbed a little chobani i got an iced americano and i watched her make it there's like four shots of pure espresso in this and <laughs> it's only a 16 ounce it's gonna be a lot of caffeine um but yeah that cinnamon roll man it looks awesome so we have checked out, we're making our way back to get our car, and then we are gonna go to, what do you call it, the port? We're going to port? Port of call. Port of call. So the GPS says we're almost there. We're passing through this cute little town, and I don't know about, do you feel the same way? I feel like we always have an enormous truck right in front of us, blocking all the views. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not ours, because it's telling us to go this way. Unless we have to walk all the way. No, I think we have to park Oh, uh, okay. There. Okay, so I think that's our ship right there, guys. Pretty cool. Yeah, but we have to go this way to park, I think. I don't know, like I said, we're new to this. I, I, I feel a little embarrassed making this vlog because I'm sure that 99.9% .9 of the people watching this have already done a Disney cruise and we're the noobs. Yeah, and Mike has the directions on his phone, but he's filming right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, sure enough, we went to the wrong place. <laughs> so we have to backtrack now another mile. Okay, so we are no longer driving away from the cruise ship. <laughs> yeah. We're now going towards the cruise ship. And a good best practice, as we always do, because we didn't know what we were, what we didn't know, we got here early so that we yes. can find that out. So always arrive places early if you have no idea what you're doing, like us. Okay, so there's our ship. Oh, and there's a big car, of course. Car, there it is. There's our ship. Okay, I missed it. Little man just freaked out. He did not know there was a water slide on this ship. Yeah, maybe it was like this, and it's only like six years old. Oh, okay. It's only like for six year old or ten years old or nine years old. Uh huh. But that's okay because we, and it's like nine old enough to do it, and um, I can do it. Yeah, we'll make sure you're tall enough, but I think yeah. you should be fine. But and I'm not tall enough, we can do the pulse. Oh, okay, yeah, we can still do the pulse. Because I can show you how far I can swim right down to a deep. Alright, I think the hard part is over. We're a little stressed. We'll debrief later. Oh my god! <laughs> I was literally shaking. Okay, but here we are. Are you ready for the cruise, man? Yeah, we was way up there on the roof. Oh yeah. We can see anything far away. I know you can see it. You're gonna use half your room. <laughs> Did you see Mickey up there? Yeah, on the stairs. Wave to him as you go by, okay? Wave to him. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> Hi. All right, come on forward, everyone. Disney World, please welcome for the Entertainment Family. Come on, buddy. Come on. The what? The ocean in the ocean. In the ocean. 
Oh yeah? Wow, we're on. Can you believe it? Okay, we are here. We have sat down at Triton's. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we are. Yes. Everything's moving very fast. It is. <laughs> so our check-in is immediately at a restaurant because we're concierge. So okay. um, the standard state rooms, I guess you check in around 3.30, 3.45. So we get a welcome lunch for us. Oh, okay. Uh, I was wondering, yeah, I was like, where are we going? But they directed us here and we're gonna have some lunch. Exactly. Welcome. Thank you. All right, so I think the wave of Disney is washing over us. It's yes. helping us calm down. This is actually a very nice way to kick off it is. and welcome um, our experience here. Right. But we did place our order. Everything looked really good. It does. Um, and we know this is a rotational dining situation. So yeah. this happens to be where we're having dinner tonight as well. Right. So hopefully it's a completely different menu. I'm sure it is because it seemed like it was pretty heavy with salads. So uh -huh. I'm sure there's going to be some variety there. But uh, if not, we'll just order something else. Yeah. So. Yeah. I have started with this bread. Oh my gosh. I, I, you know me, I love a good bread service. This is exceptional. So Steve and I decided to just start our vacation, start this Disney cruise off right. I went with my Hendrix martini and Steve, he, he went to the restroom real quick. He got a vodka martini. Okay, so Steve is back from the restroom. What did you think of your martini? Oh, it's good. I think mine is great. Yeah, no, if, it, if this is what it's gonna be like, we're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so definitely happy with that. Um, but I you did, said something about walking by the window. Yeah, it's just, it's a little like, it's not unsettling, like, I don't know, it's weird just to walk by and know that there's such a drop there and right. you have the open ocean and we're just docked. So yeah. I, I wonder how it's gonna feel out in the open <laughs> ocean. So we'll see. Fingers crossed we'll be okay. I'm sure we're gonna be fine. It's just, this is a first experience for us. Yeah. So, so we've already figured out how to make ourselves incredibly stressful at you walk on the ship, <laughs> not know how to park. And we're gonna, yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit later, What where the stress ball came from, but it involved parking. <laughs> okay, what'd you wanna say? We have a fire drill. There's gonna be a drill, right? Yep, there's gonna be a you were very concerned about it, so little man asked our server, and she was like, she gave us all the information. She said to be ready at 3.45. Yeah, it'll go off at 4. Go off at 4, yes. Only in it, and then it gets to 3, and then it gets to 4. That's how we're going to get off. Yeah, but we'll be ready. Sometimes, you know, sometimes people, sometimes people have a time, like a code, mm -hmm. attached to your fire alarm. And like, it, it, you can time it which day you want it to go off. Yeah. Little Man wasn't hungry, but we did go ahead and order this just in case. But he got the mini cheeseburger, and it looks like we got some steak fries and some vegetables. That, that, that burger actually looks really good, bud. Thank you. Okay, to start, I went with the potato leek soup. That just sounded really good. And it's served with an Irish soda bread. And then Steve went with the beef empanadas. So how is it? It's good. Doesn't disappoint. It's a nice. This always a good way to start off cleansing your palate, getting your senses ready. Uh -huh. Flavors are good, so I enjoy it. My soup is really good too. I noticed that the it's like Irish soda bread, so I went to go peel it apart and just kind of crumbled <laughs> off. So I've been like kind of like dipping it and just biting it. It's really good. I like it. Awesome. Our lunch has shown up. Steve and I got the same thing. So this is the chicken Caesar salad. I wanted something a little bit lighter because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with something heavy for dinner. But this looks great. Thank you. All right. It is time for some dessert. Dessert with lunch. That looks like yolk. It does look, yeah, right? Um, I will be honest with you. I don't remember what they called it. I think it's a chocolate tort of sorts, but it looks fantastic. Yeah, I have to admit, I think they called it a molten pot. Oh, okay. Yeah, right? that's, that's, that's it. But it's not in a pot. <laughs> it looks good, It though. looks fabulous, though. Yes. Okay, so we didn't really, I, you know, I hate to call him out on this, but what? little man, he woke up this morning at like 5 a.m. So he woke up super early <laughs> yeah. and then was exerting so much energy. I was actually a little nervous that he was going to be tired. And here he was at lunch. Yeah, he was, he was falling asleep. I didn't film him, but he was falling asleep here at lunch. He was very tired. Right. But he saw our desserts come out, and so he got a second wind, and you ate, you actually wound up eating a really good lunch. You yes. ate your burger, right? Yeah, finally. Oh, oh. 
He's still waking up, folks. Oh, <laughs> I still give him time to wake up. Yeah, taking some time. That's that's a okay. But our server brought you your own dessert, and you said it was delicious. He's getting some of that energy because you're gonna go to the kids' club, right? Right. <laughs> it's only day one, folks. But so far, we're loving this. Yes. So far, the food's been phenomenal. This yeah, is it's our been first very good. Meal, so. Very happy with that. I think we need to understand how to eat on a cruise. For sure. Yeah, we don't want to. Well, be... we weren't expecting to come on the cruise and immediately sit down for lunch. Right. I do. I was. I was kind of hit upside the head with that. I knew it. I just forgot to communicate that. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, whatever. All right. Uh, but yeah, so we're here, and uh, yeah. Yeah. So I think after this, because we're pretty much done, we're just waiting for him to. We're waiting for the little man to finish up his dessert. And I think uh, we're gonna go back, we're, or we're gonna go find our room. We're gonna go find a room, put our settle in, carry on luggage there, and maybe our check luggage be there. Yeah, and then we've got our first activity. Yep. So let's do it. Okay, so we are done. So we're gonna go find our room now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you wanna do it? Oh, yeah, go for it, man. Little man wanted to do his own luggage. Hey, works for me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It smells so good in here. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay, so as a function of us being a part of concierge, the cocktails were free and yeah, complimentary. We didn't know that. So everything was complimentary for the lunch. That's awesome. So if you are going to drink uh, at dinner, that is going to be something you get charged for. Making our way back through the lobby, it looks like Pluto's now here. Okay, we found we. So we are on. Um, deck I always want to say floor <laughs> we are on deck nine okay so we are actually super confused <laughs> and the app updated so it's not showing our stateroom number <laughs> oh okay and then we didn't know where the keys were it looks like they put the keys on your door I guess okay you guys I'm not kidding. Already we've had to tell people like four or five times like we're noobs we're novices to cruising we have no idea how this works it's fun, but it's a little chaotic at the beginning. As we're walking down the hallway, I have to say, this is not nearly as cramped as I thought. Like, you know me, I was like very reticent to do a cruise because I was like, oh gosh, it makes me... Oh, we're right next to a elevator and stairwell. That's pretty nice. But yeah, so far I've been very, very comfortable. What do you think, bud? Pretty good. Pretty good? So we are in 8582. Okay, we're walking in. Oh, got a little bathroom here. We'll come back to there. Oh, this is nice. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow. Looks like we got a, sorry, you guys are seeing this the exact same time I'm seeing it. So we've got like a little sitting area here. I can see Steve and I hanging out here with our cocktails, watching TV. Oh, we got our room here. Got a nice, good sized bed. Oh, we got another TV here. Okay. All right. And then in here we've got, oh, we've got like a little vanity, kind of like a dressing area vanity situation going on here. I'm guessing this is a closet. Yes. Oh, good size closet. Okay. And then here is our bathroom. Oh, wow. This is way bigger than I was expecting. Okay. Soaking tub. And we've got the toilet and the shower. Sorry guys, I don't know where anything is. I don't know where like the light switches are and stuff. Otherwise I would show you. So we got a nice shower here. Okay, okay. Oh man, like I said, we are so spoiled because I know that this is not typically what the rooms look like on the ship. We did, you know, we splurged. We've never done this before. We decided to go big. We got this bigger state room. But you know what? I think this is a great way to do a very first cruise. Oh, we got the veranda. Oh yeah, this is nice. Oh, what's this? Oh, wait, 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 what's this? I'm, I'm so confused. Oh, we have two bathrooms. So this is like, okay. Oh man, we got another shower in here. I was gonna say, I thought this was like maybe like a half bath kind of a situation. That's gonna come in handy. Yeah, come here. 
Okay, this is a nice way to cruise. Going outside. Oh man, this is pretty big. Yeah. How nice. awesome. This so, okay, so you haven't seen everything yet though. I, have not, I haven't gone to that room yet. <laughs> I just took everyone for a quick tour. Yeah. Oh man. What do you think, man? Whoa, we are really high up. What do you think? Imagine if we use like high and doing the fire side up there and I and accident and you accidentally like push me down like this and I'll come up well, there and break my bones. Well I'm not gonna accidentally push you down there. Yeah, okay, something that doesn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> This is pretty nice, man. Hey, this is it talking about the safety stuff. Oh, it's talking about the safety stuff? Oh, then it's right up your alley. Oh, this is so nice. I, okay, so I think I think there's a bed that comes out of here. I think this is a Murphy bed situation from the YouTube videos I was watching earlier. But oh, and one of you said that there are there is like storage everywhere. Sometimes it can be kind of hidden, but yeah, I mean, just looking at this, I think you're you're right. There's probably storage under this bed here. We could probably slide our luggage. Okay, so Steve's gonna do a quick walkthrough and then yeah. we'll get your thoughts. All right, cool. Okay, so I was looking through here. I'm, I'm guessing this is probably, because I tried it, it looks locked. So I'm guessing this is like if you had conjoining rooms, kind of like you see in hotels. But in here I noticed, so we've got this little wet bar here, which is really nice. And in here we've got our refrigerator and they've already got it stocked with some Evian's and some cans of soda. Don't, don't tell, don't tell Caleb. And then here we've got a little garbage can, a little place for us to put some stuff, I guess, should we need it. Up here we've got some glassware. Some more glassware. Oh, okay. We've got wine glass, champagne, rocks glass. So it looks like in here we've got, oh yeah, storage, storage, storage. Lots of places to put our stuff. Look at, there's our life vests. Oh yeah, there's our life vests. Okay, so we know where they are. Yeah. Oh, we got some hangers to hang our stuff. It is a door right here, so it's all the shirt and have playing on. Oh, perfect. So we'll be super safe. We've got all the instructions there. Yeah, and we hear like a fire drill, like for a real fire. Mm -hmm. We just put them out and 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 just go somewhere and get in the water because that's okay. what we're doing. And look, but I think this is gonna be your bathroom. What do you think? Pretty nice, hey, right? Uh, it has oh yeah, that's how you flush the toilet. Yeah. Your own shower with your own like products. Look at that, man. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, and why meals here? Oh, sometimes people need that. I was just noticing the artwork here is so cool. So depends on depends on what coast you're on, right? In Disneyland, this is the Golden Horseshoe review. In Disney World, it's the Diamond Horseshoe. So that's kind of cute, kind of welcoming and inviting. And then, and he, yeah, you weren't kidding. There is tons of storage here. Lots of kind of like hidden drawers and stuff. Oh, wow, we got, let me turn the light here. There we go. Lots of hangers. So we'll definitely be able to unpack we got the robes, oh, and the slippers down here. Oh my goodness, you guys, we're gonna be living in luxury. I am so excited. Okay, I figured out the light situation finally, so here we go. Um, so this is new to me, I'm not sure, I'm sure most of you cruisers already know this, but it looks like we've got Elemis. That's the brand of beauty products that we got in here. So this is a white lotus and lime hand and body wash. We got some hand and body lotion. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I bought, when I was at Kiehl's the other day, if you saw the previous video, I got a face mask. I am totally gonna like spa it up in here one day. Um, we do have reservations at the spa, like the actual spa where we're gonna, Steve and I are gonna get some massages. But oh yeah, this trip is gonna be all about relaxation. Okay, so you've done your walkthrough. What do you think? This is doable. I like it. <laughs> it's very large. Compared to what I've seen in the past, it's it's very nice. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited. So they're showing safety videos on this TV. So, you know, he's going to be planted there for quite a while. 
All right, so we are, we're running late, <laughs> but we love our room. We're having a great time checking it out. Caleb was watching the safety video, but now we are off to our first activity, which is a champagne tasting. I'm very excited about that. And little man is probably more excited because he's going to get to go check out the kids club. Okay, we're just, I, and you know us, we keep, we keep saying it. We're newbies to this. So here's the Buena Vista Theater. I have no idea what's going on in there. Oh, it looks like it's a movie theater. I feel like you guys who are watching this and you've been on a dozen Disney cruises, you're like making fun of us because we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> but I figure we're all in this together. Okay, so we didn't plan this very well. So we're here at the Oceaneer Club, which my understanding is the kids club. I thought we were going to be able to check Caleb into this for our champagne tasting, but it looks like they close at 3. Oh, and then they reopen at 4.30. So we may have to skip our champagne tasting. Or one of us goes and the other one doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Awesome, right? <laughs> we have Caleb. Is that your name? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. Where's the kids club? We already passed it. Look. So it's closed right now. Okay. Why the kids club? All right. We are so confused. We have no idea where. <laughs> We, we don't know what's front or We back. keep walking to the wrong place. I think we're going to miss our champagne tasting, unfortunately, but I'm going to say an unpopular opinion here. <laughs> this is the most stressful vacation we've ever been on. Let's just chill. Let's just chill. Let's relax. It's fine. We've had champagne before. Oh my gosh. We'll just get champagne back at the room. But we didn't vlog it, unfortunately, because we were kind of like looking through it. But we did see the Oceaneer Club for the kids, and it looked really cute. Caleb was a little bummed out because he wanted to stay and he wanted to play, but it's not open right now. I guess they don't open until after the drill. So I'm not really sure why they would schedule a champagne tasting when the kids' club isn't open, but that's just me. Unpopular opinion, I know. Okay, so big pro Oh, it just changed. Um, big props to Disney because we showed up and we let them know. So this is what we were supposed to be here at the 233 champagne tasting. As you can see, it's 21 and up. They were so gracious. They let us know that because the Oceaneer Club is doing open house right now, they're offering to reschedule us. Yes. So we're good. Which is awesome. So we're not losing out on the, the yes, costs that we sunk into For that, sure. So. Yeah. And it was so great because we got to meet one of you guys Absolutely. here. You that guys were fantastic. like literally right at the door. It was perfect. <laughs> Happy to see you here as well. And so little man is just chilling out. I have to admit though, you know what's so funny? Don't they say like if you're feeling a little queasy, look out the window? I feel like when I look out the window, I actually feel, that's when I feel it. Okay, so I think we're just gonna kind of hang out. Um, they did let us know because this is a shorter cruise, there is not another champagne tasting. They did offer us a beer cruise, but you guys know that's not our wheelhouse. So we did decide we're just gonna pass, it's fine. Um, but I think we're just gonna use this time now to just kind of hang out, check things out. This is what we actually needed. We needed kind of just like some time to kind of like look around, get our bearings. I believe that the drill that Caleb is like super concerned about, that's gonna happen about in, in about an hour. And I feel like at that point, we'll be able to kind of finally breathe and relax and figure things out. Look who it is. Hold on, <laughs> and it's Minnie. They're working, they're going to work. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so using this time to just kind of like get our bearings and look around the chip, we found the Walt Disney Theater. We have found Mickey's main sale, which looks like they're not quite open yet. All right, we found Palo. This is where we're having dinner tomorrow night. Um, so tomorrow is what, Saturday? Yes, we're having dinner tomorrow night and then we're gonna have brunch here on Sunday. So now we're just trying to figure out how to get to the concierge, which is also <laughs> on the 10th. <laughs> we're so lost. Deck. So there's a deck out here, so maybe we just walk to it? Okay, let's do it. Whoa, Whoa. this is nice. Look at this. Oh my goodness, Caleb, look at it. There's a slide. Look at the smokestack. Oh, a slide? Oh my. Oh, we're going to go on it. You can go on it. Yes, that's true. 
You want to do it? Okay, well, we're going to be doing it soon. Oh, man, this thing is huge. And it looks like they're showing, um, uh, what's this movie called? I want to call it Miguel. It's not Miguel. What's it called? What's this movie called? <laughs> Coco. There we go. They're showing Coco right now. And it's pretty cool. You can still see the port of San Diego here. So we turned the corner and we found it, the concierge lounge. So this is what we're looking for. Okay, here we go. All right, so we gotta go up midship. Oh, okay. Back to that way. Midship. Learning something new every day. All right, so we have found the concierge. It looks like we've got, uh, we got some espresso going on here or some tea. Lots of accoutrements. Looks like they got some small bites. We've got a marinated fennel and feta cheese. California vegetable sandwich on marbled rye. Wow, lots of good stuff here. And then of course we got our, you know, as we all know with Disney, the plethora of desserts. Oh, well, that's cute. So we found a little spot here right by one of the pools and Steve found us. They're serving us complimentary champagne. We've got some water over here. This is nice. Yeah, sorry. Caleb found a spot where they've got little kids tables and chairs and they've got the Mickey cartoons going. You got your own little setup over here, man. So one of the things I have to admit that I'm a little bit weirded out about <laughs> is the fact that our room keys are just simply left on the outside of our room, okay. waiting for us to get them. <laughs> and then secondly, all the luggage is also outside the room, waiting right. for us to bring it in. It's like the honor system, I guess. We're very exposed. <laughs> so what happens if you walk into your room, or you can't walk into your room because someone grabbed your keys and occupied your space? Right? Like, I, I, I didn't think about that, but you are right. Yeah. That is very odd. <laughs> like, I remember like getting out of the elevator, like, I don't know how we get in our room because it's not like a mobile pass or mobile touch or anything right. like that. So, it's very odd. <laughs> very odd. I don't like it. <laughs> just checking out the Mickey hands here. We are just minutes away from like the big drill. You guys, I can't even begin to tell you how much Caleb is anticipating this. <laughs> it's been a whole thing hey, all day. <laughs> Yeah, but once we get through this, I think we're gonna be good. I don't know. Stateroom host or hostess. For those traveling with an infant, contact. We had to leave the wave party short because Caleb was like, he had reached his limit and wanted to come back and rest. <clears throat> and I so, think he was overstimulated. But then of course he, he closes his eyes for approximately four minutes and then he's done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. so we but I did hear the, 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 what do they call it? The horns go. Yeah. And so now we are moving. There goes port. Bye bye. bye. Port. See you real soon. <laughs> And so, then of course we're unpacking. Are you are you really nervous? <laughs> I'm very nervous. Yes. Can you like lean the camera this way? I've seen those it's videos fine. where like ah, and everything comes over the side. Well, I was just gonna say I'm nervous because we were unpacking and we realized where's the camera bag? <laughs> we left it in the lounge. <laughs> we did, but I told Mike just it's fine. It'll be there. I'm like I, I was panicking. It was there. There there's just been too much going on today. It was there. We're fine. <laughs> we just need it. We do. We need to. We don't need to expect anything at all about this. Just, let's just go with the flow. That's what we tell Caleb. You just go with the flow, dude. Right. So, yes. Here we are. Going with the flow. There goes the port. And smooth sailing ahead. Literally. So, yeah. We're going to have a great trip. Although, one more thing. <laughs> we unpacked our bags. So, everybody was telling us that you can bring, like, two bottles of wine, two bottles of champagne or whatever. So, we did that. They confiscated it. <laughs> 
because I guess you have to be here. Someone 18 or up has to actually be here in the room when they deliver your bags. But it's kind of funny because it's like, how do you know when they're gonna deliver your bags? Especially because we had the tasting already scheduled. Well, first of all, we get on the ship, they immediately tell us we have lunch. We were not prepared for that. And then it was like, we had to rush over to our tasting only to find out we couldn't go to that because the kids club wasn't open. I felt like there was a lot of miscommunication and I feel like Disney could do a better job, especially, okay, here, I'm just gonna go off on a tangent. I just feel like with this cruise, with the Disney cruise, it's family friendly. So I guess I don't understand why you would schedule the alcohol tasting where you have to be 21 or older to enter. Why schedule that when the kids club is closed? I thought that we were kind of like super caught off guard with that. The other thing we were thinking is that people were still boarding when that tasting was happening. So if you want to go to that tasting, you have to have concierge level. Because when they tried to reschedule it for us, they were like, oh, it's a short cruise. There's no more tastings available. So I was kind of like, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. You know what? We're all settled in. We've got our bags now. We're going to have a great time. Um, yeah, it was just kind of like, I felt, I, I felt like it was like rough seas ahead. If you don't know, if this is your first Disney cruise, if you don't really know what you're getting into, find someone with all the answers because I felt like we are very much blindsided with a lot of stuff today. So I'm hoping at this point, as we, as we leave the, as we leave port, like I said, hopefully it is smooth sailing ahead. Look at this guy out here just enjoying life. <laughs> I feel like this is part of it. This is what I do in Hawaii. That is true, yes. yes. I was sitting, so I was sitting in this chair here and I was just kind of admiring our room. Cause you know what, let's be honest. This is a fantastic room. And I was just kind of sitting here and I was like, oh my gosh, look at all that space we have. And it's just so nice. I'm like looking out there, there's my husband just enjoying the view. And I know he's out there enjoying the view, but there is something to be said about just kind of like, Ah, just sitting in this nice little chair in the stateroom, just relaxing. Because if you were in doubt, yes, we do have a, so this is like a hurricane, I guess, we got at the wave party before, before we left, so that's been very nice. I also have to say, I'm very surprised with how fast we seem to be going. I'm not sure if it shows up on camera at all, but I did not think that these big giant ships uh, moved this fast. What do you think? I kind of assume they do a decent amount. Okay. So Catalina's not that far. Right. So we're going to be there in the morning, so it's going to move a decent amount. But okay. I'm actually happy it's not going too fast, but this is a pretty good speed. Yeah. Like, I don't want us to be going... Right. Right? <laughs> but there goes San Diego. Caleb and I are in here just enjoying the enjoying the space we were looking at all these books like they've got all these classics like alice's adventures in wonderland treasure island why'd you turn the light off ma'am can i take something yes yeah, so can you turn the light on yeah it makes this silly noise oh yeah it kind of flickers huh why it kind of, i don't know that flicker means going to flicker on fire but yeah we've got all these like i thought it was funny we had all these interesting like books like um Alice Adventures in Wonderland, Treasure Island. Like, I wonder how many people, if anyone, like actually does this. Like, what if I just like randomly decide to read Treasure Island on this trip? And then over here at our table. So some of you are telling us that on this with concierge, we can order Palo right to our room. As fabulous as that would be, I want to go to the restaurant. I want to experience that. So we've been at sea for about 20 minutes and uh, I think that's where I had to park. Right over oh. here. <laughs> Parking was quite the... Oh, that, well, okay, we haven't talked about that. Oh my goodness. It was a thing. <laughs> so I feel like, and I, granted this is our first time on a cruise, yes. but it seems like they very much assume you're being dropped off by right. someone. Right. So they do say, like, what's the transportation set up? Do you need transportation? We assume, no, we don't. Like, we, we have a car. We, we figured it'd be like an airport. We'll park there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no parking. So here's the deal. We don't mean to be dragging the situation. I know. We are not experts. So <laughs> no one's an expert the first time. So we are right. doing first time fumbles. So this is in no way saying that cruises are horrible. 
It just happens to be that this is our first time experiencing it and we're doing all the wrong things. I feel like every time we were watching a vlog, it was all about the dining, where to meet characters, where to do activity. Someone needs to put out the vlog and maybe this is us. Logistics. Right, where to park, <laughs> how early to get here, like, oh my where goodness. Where to go. <laughs> where do I need to place my feet? Yes. <laughs> so. Yes. With all this being said, I know that Mike doesn't want to be stressed out, but dinner's in 15 minutes. Yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Next thing. <laughs> so we are going downstairs. What time is it, Steve? It is 8.40. Or Eight, sorry, 5.40. 5.40. Okay, so yeah, we have five sure. minutes. We got our dining reservations. So we're going to be dining every evening at 5.45. Mm -hmm. Tonight we are going to Triton's, like we said before. That's actually where we had lunch. So at least we know where to go. Yep. All right, heading to our table, and we are at 82. So yeah, the same place where we had lunch. Makes it convenient. So we have sat down, and again, we are at Triton's. So let me give you a look at their menu. For appetizers, we have a duck confit. We have some iced lobster and jumbo shrimp, an escargot dish, and then something that caught my eye was the breaded and deep fried brie. We've got some French onion soup, a farmhouse salad, for main courses, we've got some pasta, a duck breast that caught my eye, and a Chateaubriand roasted filet steak. All right, I have to admit I'm on the fence because I was, I totally honed in on that duck breast, right. but then our server told us that the filet Chateaubriand was the way to go. And then the um, lamb on top of oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So she totally threw a wrench in all of our plans. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, were you thinking the duck breast too? I was thinking that too, okay. so um, yeah, I think Game time decision will have to change. For so sure. We'll have to figure that out. So here we go. Bread service has arrived, and I'm hoping this is the same bread we had at lunch because that was fantastic. And it looks like we've got like an olive oil tepanade dipping sauce of sorts, and then some butter. And we are here at 6:15, and he's already out. <laughs> He wanted to go to Kids Club after yeah. dinner. We'll see if he uh, regains his energy. Starters have shown up, and I went with a red wine Bosque pear salad. This is arugula with sliced red onions and crispy lardons, dressed with a sherry wine dressing and served with a red wine poached Bosque pear. And I ordered the breaded and deep fried brie with an orange and cranberry chutney. Looks mighty delicious. Apparently what I'm going to be ordering for every starter is two small little tiny bites. That's my MO. So after looking at this, this is basically a mozzarella stick, but a brie stick. <laughs> so, there you go. Mm -hmm. Well, as you can see, our starters were absolutely just terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They were very good. They were. Like I said, it wasn't like a amazing thing. Yeah, mine was like an arugula salad. Yeah, and mine was definitely an elevated mozzarella stick, but we breathed. <laughs> but it was good. Yeah. We did get some more bread, and Little Man wanted a salad for dinner. Trust me, I don't know where this came from, but okay. We'll take it. <laughs> Dinner has arrived. Excuse the shadow we got going on here, but I decided to go with the duck breast. This is with cabbage, shallots, honey parsnip mash, and a duck red wine jus. And I went with the recommendation from our waiter, and that is to get the roasted rack of lamb. This is with um, potatoes, buttered Brussels sprouts, and a burgundy rosemary sauce. It looks pretty delicious. How do you know right away? Flavor. All right. It's good. Yeah. And I was looking at Steve's. This looks amazing. Is that like a potato stack or something? I don't know how to pronounce what kind of potato dish it is. Okay. Uh, Michael put it down below. Okay. I will. Yeah. I didn't look at the menu when it came to Steve's thing, but oh my, that looks fantastic. How do you know right away? <laughs> Tender. <laughs> Delicious. Thank Very you. Good. Very good. Very good. Okay, so Caleb ordered the kids' salad along with some like whole wheat pasta. Oh, but you're right. Our server said that that is her pasta, and he better not eat it. You're not eating it, right? I'm sneaking. You're being sneaky. 
Oh my. Okay. You did eat it. Speaking of eating, like I tried these potatoes. Okay. Oh my goodness. I had a feeling they looked amazing. So just bite yours. Okay. I'm very interested in getting a bite of your lamb. It's okay. Lamb. That's what it is, right? Lamb. Okay. I'm going to do my own quick little review. I'm sure Dad, uh, Dad, I was going to call him Dad. I'm sure Steve will say something different. I love my duck breast. It is so good. I did have a bite of Steve's roasted rack of lamb. It was good, but I'm not a big fan of gamey meat, and I feel like that is a little gamey. The duck breast is fantastic. However, I'm not a big fan of any of my accoutrements. We've got some cabbage here. There is the celery, I think it was celery parsnip, or no, parsnip uh, puree. It's okay. Steve's potato stack, however, is fantastic. In my opinion, if you can get the potato stack with the duck breast, home run. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to admit, while Mike says it's gamey, it's really, really good tender lamb. So the flavor is very good. It's very tender. It's not tough at all whatsoever. And the potato and the Brussels sprouts are cooked perfectly. So overall, this is a very, very good plate. Check your belly. I don't belly up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay, dinner was delicious, but now it is time for dessert. So it looks like we've got a Grand Marnier souffle, apple tart tartine, Tahitian vanilla creme brulee, and a strawberry shortcake sundae. All of these sound fantastic, but earlier today I was looking at the menu and this Grand Marnier souffle caught my eye. That's one of my all-time favorite desserts. I think I'm gonna go for that. Oh, but I wanted to point out, the signature dessert is this classic opera ghetto. I will be honest with you, I am not a fan of the opera for a dessert. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go for the souffle. You ready? Wonderful. Uh, again. Say thank you, baby. Hey, Caleb, say thank you. Yeah, Wonderful, good. thank you very much. All right, here it is, the Grand Marnier Souffle. And I forced Steve to get the, because it's all included. I told him to get the signature dessert. This is the opera. So we'll let you know how it is. Okay, so we got three desserts here. As I showed you, I've got the Grand Marnier Souffle. We got the signature opera. And Caleb got a premium Mickey bar. All three of us agree, this is the way to go. The opera, it just, it's very, very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet, very decadent chocolate, which is good. But there is something about the Grand Marnier, it's just the Grand There's Marnier Souffle. Simplicity to it, it's soft, yeah. it's heavenly, like, it's just like, it's not over-engineered, it's just good on its own. Right. Yeah, like Steve said, and it, it's just the perfect send-off for this kind of a rich dinner. Great way to go out. Here is a quick little look at the deserted lobby. It's so pretty. I have to admit, I've seen so many vlogs where I've seen like the lobby and I'm just like, I will never go there. And now here I am, this is so cool. So right now it's a little after nine o'clock and I thought it was getting a little bit late. Steve and I have been enjoying like some cocktails. We've been checking, we checked out like the Cadillac Lounge. We went up to the Concierge Lounge. Caleb has been in the Oceaneers Club, which is their kids club. He was so excited about it. And I know that every time he goes to a kids club like this, he just has the best time. He never wants to leave. So we always have to like, we have to kind of like tread lightly. So Steve went to go pick him up. I'm hanging back here because I, I feel like it's just a little bit too much if we both go, oh, here he comes. Did you have fun? Yeah. Awesome. Did you make new friends? Um, Are you excited to go back? Yeah. Oh, cool. I actually hurt my nose. You so hurt your nose? Uh-oh. It's 
Not bleeding. Not right. bleeding? Yeah. Good. Good to know. All right, so after we dropped off Caleb, we definitely checked out the Cadillac Lounge. Did you ready this? Okay. Because yeah, I, I know you were very upset this. about this. I no, want to make sure it. you had the video. <laughs> so I know that I don't record this stuff for Mike, so I wanted Steve to make sure I did it now. When I give Steve the camera, he records with no, he doesn't say I anything. do B-roll. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this footage? Because <laughs> you typically do the voice work on this stuff. I do the B-roll. <laughs> well, I let everybody know what we did tonight while right. Little Man was in Kids Club. So, But I'm glad you had a great time, man. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Good. Awesome. All right, let's go to our room. Oh my, what's going on here? Look at this. <laughs> they put dad's sunglasses on our blanket. That's cute. <laughs> Why did that? That's crazy, huh? I like it. That kind of animal. I like it. What kind of animal is that kind of animal? Oh, what's these? But it looks like we got some like treats here. Look oh, at that, cool. man. That's cool. I want one of these. And look at this, bud. They put your bed out and they put your bunny on the bed, my too. Own. Look at that. That's cool. I get my own. You get your own. I want to eat now. I want to eat right now. Okay, you can have that, and then it's time for bed. This is our very first good morning on a cruise. Check it out. Oh, there's like a ship over there. Well, we are up. It is um, a little after 7.30, so we forgot to do an outro last night. I'm trying to make this so that the vlogs will come out like each day, um, or rather, you know, each vlog is a full day, but we got back to the room and we just like crashed. We were so tired. Um, I slept really, really well in this bed. So this is, I think it's a queen size bed. We have a king at home, so it's a little bit smaller than what we're used to, but it was really comfortable. I slept really great. Um, I don't know about Steve. We'll get him in a second, but <laughs> how'd you sleep? So if you look at the bed from this side, you can see why Mike was so comfortable. He took all the covers. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's all on his side, which is fine because I usually run a little hot. So yeah. I did sleep very good as well. So it's very comfy. And uh, there was some movement and a lot of uh -huh. noise. So upstairs is actually where a lot of the kids stuff is. There's mm -hmm. um, play area. So it kind of caught quiet like around 10 o'clock but that was fine so yeah yeah it was a great experience it really was now time to get coffee yeah yes so our concierge is open i believe it opens at seven so like i said it's a little after 7 30 we're gonna go grab some coffee some continental breakfast and so i think we're gonna close out this vlog here but we'll obviously we'll keep recording because that will be the next vlog so our first day on the cruise is in the books and you know i feel like we had a rocky start but throughout the course of the evening things got really really nice really great food fun experience caleb had a blast at the kids club he's already dying to go back good night's sleep and yeah i think you know i think it's going to be smooth sailing from here on out well we hope you enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and from our magic family to yours enjoy